Hello, I'm Rabbi Alana Suskin, Director of Strategic Communications for Americans for Peace Now. With me is Yossi Alfer, who writes our weekly Q&A about Israel and Middle East related issues. Also the former director of the Jaffe Center for Strategic Studies at Tel Aviv University and the co-editor of Bitter Lemons. Hi, Yossi. Hi, nice to be here. So this month, Israel is marking 45 years of the start of the Six Day War, the occupation. And in five years, it will be half a century. Can you talk a little bit about the cumulative effect that the occupation has had on Israel? I think the cumulative effect has been pretty disastrous. Uh, I would even put the emphasis on Israel domestically. Uh, the rise of violence, the rise of messianism on the part of uh, the messianic settler uh, leadership. Uh, it's very difficult to second guess to what extent 45 years of occupation has made peace with the overall neighborhood easier or harder. The fact is we have managed to sign peace agreements with Egypt and, and, and Jordan and, and that the, the current is political Islamist threat to those peace agreements is not motivated primarily by the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. But uh, on the other hand, it's also quite clear that a, a an Islamist Arab world, uh, once things calm down and the smoke clears, is going to focus very hard on Israel, on Israel as Israel, but that the occupation gives it every opportunity to, uh, uh, to attack us uh, politically, if not, if, if not worse than this. Um, if you want an illustration of of the, what the occupation has done, not just to the chances for peace with the Palestinians, but for peace with ourselves. Look at the last month or so of incitement within Israel at the highest political level, beginning with Prime Minister Netanyahu, against 60,000 illegal migrants from Eritrea eh, eh, and Sudan primarily, a few other African countries as well. Uh, when you hear Prime Minister Netanyahu say that these 60,000 constitute a threat to the Jewish nature of Israel, today 60,000, tomorrow 600,000, and you scratch your head and you say, wait a minute, isn't this the Prime Minister who by building settlements in East Jerusalem and throughout the West Bank is basically gradually annexing 3.5 million Palestinians into <coughs> Israel? Isn't this the real <laughs> demographic threat? And when you hear a, a Minister of Interior, Eli Yishai from Shas, talk about these 60,000 as a, in using the language of Goebbels, they carry diseases, that they're threatening our women. Uh, this is where we've come in 45 years of occupation. And this is where we are today with a prime minister who, in order to distract attention from the di disastrous spread of the occupation in the West Bank, is pointing to these 60,000 people. But they're not the main issue. They're simply not the main issue. And the main issue is indeed the occupation. It is indeed what the occupation means for our, for our future as a Jewish and a democratic country. Uh, or the way it, it increasingly threatens our future as a Jewish and a democratic country. Some people would say that we're, we're beyond the threat. Uh, and uh, what it means to Israel domestically in terms of the makeup of the Jewish population of Israel. Uh, and what it means at the moral and, and ethical level that we cannot bring ourselves to find a way to recognize the right of a neighboring people to their own self-determination, just as we insist that the world recognize our right. So where are we after 45 years? Go back to the euphoria of 1967, when we were, we were on the covers of uh, every magazine in the world, and we were the heroes of the world, because we fought back against aggression, little Israel, against the surrounding Arab world. Uh, Certainly our international status has radically deteriorated, likely to continue to do so. Uh, and willy-nilly we're looking at, if, if back in 67 we were surrounded by a militant Arab nationalism led by Nasser, now we find ourselves increasingly surrounded by militant Arab 
Islamism. Uh, full circle in some ways, except that when we fought back against this in 67, we were heroes. And if we find ourselves having to fight back against this now, after 45 years of occupation, we'll be the villains and not the heroes. Thank you so much.